What's up, YouTube? Today I have a pair that's a bit controversial. Some people hate these and some like them, and personally I can understand both sides. I'm talking about the Nike Air Force One Supreme White on White. So today we'll talk about it, we'll quickly get into the significance of white on white AF1s, and we'll discuss my theory on why I think Supreme made a smart decision with this shoe. Before I start, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button for more content like this, and also ring that notification bell for updates on my latest videos. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock since the 1980s, you know that the Air Force One is probably the most iconic sneaker in Nike's lineup. It's been around since 1982, and whether you're a girl or boy, young or old, into hip-hop or rock, chances are you respect the all-white Air Force Ones. You could pick these up for under $100, and they are hands down one of the easiest ways to look and feel good. It's hard to put your finger on what makes them dope, they just are. I like to mix up my kicks and wear a lot of different stuff, but for the spring and summer months, white on whites are standard apparel. Now, this isn't the first time Air Force One has done a collab with Supreme. They've done a bunch, and a lot of those past releases are very desirable. Unfortunately, they're also very expensive, so I don't own any. This time around, they focused on the all-black and the all-white pairs. When these dropped in March of 2020 for the retail price of $96, I was curious about them. I wanted to see what creative touches Supreme added to this iconic sneaker. Then when I finally saw the pics, I admit, like most people, I was underwhelmed. All I saw was a standard pair of white-on-white -white Air Force Ones with a little Supreme box logo debossed near the lateral heel. I was so unimpressed and I thought it was a total cop-out and completely lazy on Supreme's side. Uh, eventually I lost interest and simply wrote these off as a whack collab. Fast forward a few months and my son randomly started telling me how much he liked them and why he liked them. And after hearing him out, I have to say, he completely changed my perspective on these and now I think I respect what Supreme did. So hear me out, from a designer's perspective, the all-white Air Force One is definitely not a sneaker you want to mess with. People take this shoe seriously, and if you're going to mess with it, you have to do it tastefully. Also, if it's an all-white or all-black pair, you have to be thoughtful about what you add. So, as I now see it, Supreme didn't want to mess up an already perfect sneaker. The color, the cuts, the proportions, the sole, everything is as it should be, so why mess with it? Instead, as a sign of respect, Supreme kept it clean. That's not to say they didn't add their touches, because they did. They're just very subtle touches. At first glance, it looks like they only made one change, but if you look closely, they actually made six changes from the original. I'll show you all of them in detail now. Let's start with the obvious, the Supreme Box logo debossed on the lateral side. Again, at first I thought this was lazy, but the more I think about it, I respect that they showed restraint and kept it so subtle. For what this sneaker is, you don't want more than this. The next change is the Debray's. At first they look standard, but if you look closer, they're co-branded with the Air Force One and Supreme logo stamped into them. It's really small, but it's there. While we're in this area, you'll see the third difference where they added an embroidered Nike swoosh at the top of the toe box. It's a subtle but nice look. The fourth super subtle touch is the white on white co-branded tongue tag. It's hard to see, but you have the Nike logo on the top and the Supreme logo right below it. Moving along to the inside, you have your standard Air Force One interior, but they added a white co-branded insole. Very clean and nothing too crazy. Finally, they included an optional pair of red and white Supreme laces. This was a cool touch and they completely changed the look of the shoe. It switched them from a very low-key flex to a loud pair of sneakers. The all-black pair came with white and black Supreme laces that also look pretty cool. I'm glad they included these, but I like that they came laced with the white ones out of the box. If I could, I would have two pairs of these. I'd keep one with the white laces and one with the red laces. That being said, I currently have four pairs of regular white on white, so I'll keep this one pair with the red ones for now. Also, in case you're wondering, these fit true to size, but as with any pair of Air Force Ones, I always go a half size up so I could add crease protectors in the toe area. They help my kicks last so much longer, so I always make sure to keep a pair. So, in conclusion, my son shined on me and taught me that the designers at Supreme weren't being lazy at all. They knew how significant this particular colorway is, and rather than try to reinvent something that's already perfect, they decided to respect its simplicity with simple design elements. They showed restraint and respect for an icon, so I can't be mad at that. In addition, for all the extra touches, they only charged $6 over the originals. At first I admit, I thought these were whack, but after taking a second look with some new perspective, I think they're fire and I can't wait to wear them out. For anyone who loves white on white Air Force Ones like I do, these are a fun pickup. And it may sound corny, but those small added touches make them feel just a little more special than a standard pair. Or maybe I'm just tripping and they are whack, I don't know, all I know is I like them now. Anyway, that's my video on the Nike Air Force One Supreme White on Whites. 
I'll show a few more shots. And before I go, I ask that you please like this video if you're feeling the content. And again, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, feel free to check me out on Instagram at E21Life. I'm always posting random content that you might find interesting. As always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to catch you all on the next one. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Peace. <laughs>